Home team Brandon Leak here in the locker room on the Fan 680 93.7 FM with Michael Harris II. We're here in Henry County with his Catch 23 Foundation doing great things with the community. Michael, thank you for your time today. How you doing? Yeah. And how you doing with these kids that you're putting a lot of smiles on faces today? Yeah, it's huge. I, I grew up in this grew up in this area, and I just want to give back to the community I grew up in, and I guess giving giving back to I guess giving giving kids supplies and teacher supplies for for school is a is a good thing to do because you want kids to stay in school, stay stay away from trouble. So uh, I feel like this is a good thing to do and, and helps them be better better prepared for for their schoolwork. It's really a double whammy. You're helping the kids yeah. and you're helping parents. You know, yeah. book bags and supplies. You know, sometimes people take that for granted, but right. everybody doesn't have the same means everywhere. Right. Yeah, because I mean, growing up each year, you have to you have to supply this stuff, and it can it can be costly. So. I uh, just want to help out on help out on that part and make sure the kids are prepared for school. Was it like being home and then having your parents? I mean, your mom's great, dad's great, but always having that support system when you need something yeah. that you're doing at home. You have folks that you know have your best interests at heart helping you out. It's huge. I think it's a big part of my my life and I guess the success I've had. Uh, just just knowing they're behind me and they they know what's best and want what's best for me is uh, it's pretty much what's getting me through. What's been the hardest thing your newfound celebrity? Double A, National League Rookie of the Year. One of the best players in baseball. What's been the transition? We have to, you know, handle a lot of things on the field, but off the field, all at the same time as well. Uh, I mean, me being from Atlanta, it wasn't that big of a transition. So, I mean, I'm still at home. I get to be around a lot of friends and family, which is which is pretty good, and get have a lot of support at the game. So, I mean, biggest, I guess, the biggest transition was just the lifestyle. I'm not the type to live this type of lifestyle, but I guess when it's when it's around me 24/7, I gotta, I guess, buy into it and, and try to carry myself a different way. Hard to say no sometimes. I mean, you're so yeah. given of your time and you just don't have all the time in right. the world. That's that's hard for young people, veterans, when you have to get that no in when you don't really want to. Right, yeah. It's, I mean, yeah, I, I kind of just got used to it and I still don't really think I'm bigger than anybody. I still feel like I'm a normal person, just, I guess, living out my dream and, and I guess have an unusual career. Talk about your career. Uh, Turn things completely around. Had the back injury earlier. Now, man, you, you could be over 300 by the end of the year. Yeah, that that is uh, it's pretty pretty crazy to me. I kind of I thought about it. I was like, this season is probably going to be better than than last season, just because I came back from something. I guess so. I was in a, I was in a deep hole. I guess, and I guess to come back from that and have numbers similar to what I did last year is, is pretty pretty special to me. And I'm just glad I was able to come out that hole and, and I guess be back to who I am. Us outside of the clubhouse, we always heard, who's the locker room, who's the clubhouse leader? Seems like it's an interesting group. Talk about the dynamics inside the clubhouse. You know, who is the leader? Who do you guys lean on? Are there tiers of veterans, guys that have come from all over, and then guys that have come up from the, the farm system? I feel like everybody's everybody can lead, and everybody, I guess, plays a part in leading it in, I guess, different ways, I guess, by actions, uh, sometimes words. But most part, there's no, like, set leader. We all, I guess, bond together well and, and we know what's right and what's wrong and, and just want to go out there and have fun and play games. Michael Harris the second here yeah. with us in the locker room on the fan 680 93.7 FM. What's going on at third base? We talked to Ron Washington early in the season. He said the Braves are going to be aggressive and that's exactly what you are. One of the most fun things to watch is you going from first to third or first to home yeah. uh, like you did in Chicago. What is going on when you guys know you have the green light and you know if you do get punched out if it's an aggressive out nobody has a problem with it. Yeah, I mean, I think that's that's a big thing about our team. We, we play free. It's not really, you don't get, I guess, punished or yelled at for, I guess, making a, I wouldn't say a mistake or just being too aggressive. Um, that's just something our team does where we like to be aggressive and put runs on the board and, and watch does a good job of, I guess, sending us uh, once we once we touch in third. But there are some times where you question uh, why he's sending us, but then it always turns out good. So. Um, it's fun, and uh, I'm glad. I'm glad he's our third base coach. How far out do you see the arm waving when he's whining and cranking the arm for you to go? Uh, you can see it pretty early. I mean, he's he's uh, whining it pretty quick uh, and trying to trying to make sure we get there, telling us uh, we gotta we gotta hurry up, we gotta hustle, get down the line. Um, yeah, it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty early when you see it. Was it like being the, the chased, the hunted? Now you guys have you gotten off to a great start. <clears throat> been able to hold teams off, go through dips, and then, you know, put the offense, the pitching, and the bullpen back together. But now, when you show up, everybody is given the best to try to knock off the Braves. Yeah, I feel like that's, I guess, one of the most challenging things, being the being the top dog and everybody's chasing you. But uh, our thing is we can't we can't look back and, and see 
who's following us or who's getting close to us. We just got to keep going, keep our foot on the gas, and, and I guess worry about what's, it, what's ahead of us. What's scary is you guys could get better. Jesse Chavez yeah. could come back, and yeah. Michael Soroka could come back, and yeah. there could be some you know differences that, that employers in the lineup and in the pitching staff. I mean, that, that's scary thinking about what you guys have been done, been doing, and yeah. could continue to do the rest of the season. Yeah, it's, it's huge a team we have. I mean, everybody can fill in. You see what see what Nicky Lopez did when when Ozzy went down, um, and even on the mound, if he if he needs to go in the bullpen, you see what he did on the mound for it. He didn't give up a run. But um, yeah, it's huge what this team does when when people go down and, and other people step up. It's um, it's a special team, and, and we're, we're really looking forward to, to going deep in the playoffs this year. What was it? What would Snit say if you asked him to pitch in a blowout game? He probably would, I guess, ignore me. I don't know. <laughs> I want to at some point, but uh, yeah, he'll probably ignore me right now. Right, he pitched. He, yeah. he, he a pitcher, former pitcher. Yeah. Wrap it up here with Michael Harris, the second here in the locker room on the fan, 680 FM. Uh, Snit, what do you think about you know playing for a world championship manager, a guy who's old school but has embraced yeah. you know the culture that you guys have put together? Really, is spreading throughout baseball, really spreading throughout the city. Yeah, he's a he's a world class uh, manager. He lets us be us. He put, let us play free, like you said. We, I guess, we get to bring out our own personalities on the field. I guess with uh, the way we play or I guess emotions and I guess the way we like to like address ourselves on the field But yeah, he's he's a laid-back manager. He wants to win by any means and I mean he makes a lot of the right the right decisions to to put us in that position you guys can't worry about the stats but there are a lot of coulds Matt Olson could lead Major League Baseball in home runs Ronald Acuna Jr. could win National League MVP and you know set a new stolen base record just talk about you know all of the good things individually that are coming from the guys that you play with on a daily basis it's it's a special group, like I said. I mean, I I said to to my friends earlier in the season that um, Matt Olson could could lead the lead the league in home runs after our senior was doing in, in spring training, which was crazy. Um, Acuna is back to him normal normal self and even better. So that's that's huge for our team, and I guess it's a big reason to why we're having a lot of success. It's, I mean, everybody's everybody's pretty much. Uh, having great seasons and we had a, a good amount of all-stars so that shows I guess everybody just just being themselves and, and having fun and I guess being recognized for it. And lastly it seems the biggest turnaround has been the cutting down of strikeouts you know one guy working <coughs> on something wants to cut down strikeouts lead off guy got to the in the order but it seems like the entire team has cut down on strikeouts how do you explain that because it seems like it provides danger and damage for opposing teams when you guys get to the plate. I think it's just it goes all into our, our game plan and then not trying to do too much up the plate. Um, if they leave, if I guess if they they leave the right side open, I mean take it that way. Don't try to do too much and try to hit a home run. Um, we just I guess we take our at bats and we know the person behind us can can drive us in. So we're just trying to get on base by any means and I guess that cuts down on the strikeouts and just knowing I guess what game plan we want to take towards a certain pitcher can can uh, help as well. Well, we thank you for your time. Always going to support you and your endeavors in Cash 23, the Cash 23 Foundation. You guys have a big event coming in December. We'll help spread the word about that. And uh, stay healthy, keep having fun, and uh, just keep doing what you do. And everybody and everything will fall the way it's supposed to. We thank you for your time, and we always appreciate what you do in the community. Thank you. I appreciate it, too. Money Mike, Michael Harris, joining us here in the locker room on the fan, 680-93.7 FM.